And what is happening, everybody? Welcome back to you, Sarge's Hub for another video. Hopefully, you guys are all doing awesome. So this week, guys, I think you're going to get two videos out of me. So uh, first things first today, we have the next installment in the sales video series. There's a bunch of clips from the last, you know, two months or so. It's going to be a pretty long video for those of you who do like these sales clips. I know um, I know they are not everybody's favorite videos because they do get kind of boring and repetitive after a while. But a lot of you guys love seeing your purchases on the channel. So let's go ahead and jump into the sales clips that I've been recording over the last couple of months. And next up, we sold two more carded cars, which were a carded CM6 Iridium and a carded CM6 RDO9. These were actually on two pretty good blisters. I couldn't bring myself to open these up just because of how good of a shape they were in. You know, no real noticeable creases, nice straight backs. I, uh, it's tough for me to open up some of those. But uh, anyways, the grand total on this order was $70 even to a return buyer, I believe. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you And the last purchase of the day was a carded Highway 35 Road Rocket that is headed out to a return buyer who I think is only one or two cars away from completing their Highway 35 set. But the grand total on this order was $132 even once you include shipping. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. All right, guys. Next up, we had a lot of 27 near Mint Accelerators cards that sold. Let's flip through them real quick. It was Slalom, Rubbin is Racing, Draft and Pass, Battle Spec, Carbide, two copies of Spy Eye, then we've got a Wheel Shield, a Second Wind O2 Tank, Aero Package, Soundproof, Choke Valves, Folding Corners, Endure, Poly Alloy Wheels, Gear Crush, Spire Slalom, Hairpin Turn, Baseline, absolutely love that card art there. Then we've got Hyper Jump, Kamikaze Semis, that was my last copy of Kamikaze Semis that I had in stock, The Water Realm, Four Wheel Steering, Dodging Disaster, Solar Flare, Air Refresher, and Spoiler. And I'm starting to run a little bit low on Accelerator's cards. I never thought I'd be saying that, but uh, a lot of these cards, you know, I'm getting down to, you know, four or five copies left. So uh, if you're looking to start a collection, I definitely wouldn't wait too much longer. But the grand total on this order was $60 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold a lot of three loose, lightly worn cars, which were a CM6 RDO6, a CM6 Rolling Thunder, that is the dark red variation, and a CM6 RDO9, that is the one that had the little scuff on the windshield on the inside right there. Grand total on this order was $35 even, so not too bad of a price because I'm pretty sure I pulled all these directly out of the blister. They just all had their minor issues. So uh, 35 bucks is not that bad. So uh, thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy it. And next up, we sold the loose, lightly worn spine buster that I've had in stock forever with the CM5 wheels. Just what a gorgeous car. You just can't go wrong with spine busters, especially not with the CM5s, but it just had some minor decal scratches, I think, over the back wheel well. Yeah, right there. But uh, the grand total on this order was $20, even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And last order of the day is three Nirmitz Mint cards, which were my second to last copy of Suspension Enhancers, copy of Four Wheel Steering, and a copy of Mega Base Box, all headed out to a return buyer for a grand total of $15 even. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And the next order was a mixed bag of items. So it was three carded cards, which were a carded RDO1, a carded Iridium, and a carded RDO9. Definitely some uncommon vehicles there. And then it was seven Nirmitz Mint cards on top of that, which were two copies of Draft, copy of RDO2, two copies of Moss Gorillas, copy of Ratified 2 from the starter deck, pick a line, and one of my two copies of Size Scaler. Just look at that hollow on that card, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. But the grand total on this order was $145, even for everything you see here. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. All right, guys, next order was my last Gen 2 car that I had in stock. We're officially out of stock on all the Gen 2 cars. It was the Gen 2 International Version Drone Baseline, a little dusty here. But um, it was on a very heavily worn blister, as you can see, just creases all over the place. But uh, still a pretty cool car. The grand total on this order was $80, even to a new buyer, I believe. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. Next up, we sold two more lots of 22 lightly played, heavily played condition cards, continuing to run lower and lower on these. So if you're looking for some cards to play the card game with, do not hesitate to grab them. I'll probably only have another, you know, 10 or 12 of these lots left. But the grand total on this order was $51, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And then we had a nice set of rare cards that sold today on eBay. So the first one was a lightly worn RD08 card. I got to switch out these team bags. They're a little dusty. Then it was a mint copy of Flathead Fury, a mint copy of Size Scaler, one of the prettiest foil cards in the card game. And then the biggest, baddest card in the card set, a 3D foil Metro Realm card. Look at the hollow on that card, guys absolutely unreal see the cars rolling across the highway there or the freeway if you're monkey but uh, this card wasn't lightly worn condition as you can see it's got a little bit of whitening around the edges and uh, some scratching here and there but uh, overall 
gorgeous, gorgeous looking card. The grand total on this order was $402, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you and next up, we sold a mixed bag of cards and cards. So first things first, it was 13 near mint cards, which were Hyper Spectite, RDO6, Excellium, Hyper High Voltage, Riveted, Torque Riveted, so both Riveted. So then we have Power Rage, Carbide, Power Bomb, RDO4, RDO2, Spine Buster, Asphalt Anchor, RD10, Version 2, Vector Metalloid, and my second to last copy of Spectite. So I only have one copy of Spectite left in stock. And the same buyer also purchased a CM6 Purple Spine Buster, one of the best looking cars in the series with that chrome engine, absolutely gorgeous. But the grand total in this order was $80, even to a new buyer, so thanks for that purchase. Hopefully, we And the next order was three loose used accelerators cars, which were a CM6 Iridium, a CM6 RDO9, and a CM5 Rolling Thunder. And none of these cars rolled smoothly. They all had a wheel or two that didn't turn. Usually it's on the, uh, the back. Usually it's like the back right wheel. For whatever reason, that tends to be the wheel that most frequently does not roll. But the RDO9, I don't think either of the back wheels rolled. But um, I think two of these were straight out of the pack. So uh, they're in pretty good shape other than the wheels, you know. But uh, anyways, grand total in this order was $30 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully, we And the last order of the day is a makeshift accelerator starter set. So this is two 40-card decks, 80 cards in total. Just like the starter set, I want to say 72 out of the 80 of these cards are identical to the ones that come in the starter set. But the other eight were swapped in for cards that I didn't have in stock at the moment. But they are perfectly functioning playable decks. I made sure that the cards that I swapped in worked well with them. So, you know, you're not going to get a deck with a card that doesn't work with it. But uh, the grand total on this order was $150, even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed And the last sale of the day was the last 3D foil that I had in stock at the moment. It was the last one that I was commissioned to sell recently. It was the 3D foil Hyper Synchro. Just take a look at that hollow. You can see the wheels turning across the card. And uh, I got to say, I think the bluish silver is probably my favorite color on it. I know some people really like the orangish yellow, but uh, that's definitely probably my favorite color. That thing looks absolutely wicked in that exact lighting. But uh, the grand total in this order was $220, even to a return buyer who I think is down to his last three cards in this set. So congratulations on that and thanks for your purchase. And next up, we sold a lot of three near intimate cards to a return buyer, which were Hyper Spectite, which I'm actually down to one copy of. At one point, I had like 30 of them. So Hyper Spectite, Recover Control, and Draft. Well, actually, I guess that's Spectite there too, or at least it's supposed to be. But uh, the grand total in this order was $15, even to that return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold a lot of 10 near intimate cards. We'll go through them right quick. We had a lot of card sales over the weekend. So it was the Swamp Realm, the Junk Realm, the Neon Pipeline Realm, the Water Realm, RDO 3, RDO 4, RDO6, Hyper Drift Tech, Hyper Battle Spec, and Hyper Baseline. So nice little trend there. But uh, the grand total in this order was $50 even when you include shipping. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you and next up, another order of cards. It was 16 near mint cards. Let's flip through them real quick. It was Drifting, Mechanoid Destroyer, Hardened Underbelly, Power Bomb, The Ice Realm, The Cosmic Realm, Downshift, my last copy of Red Matching that I have at the moment, then Blown Hydrant, which I'm down to one of, I believe. Then the Neon Pipeline Realm, which I'm also down to one of. Vector Metalloid, Grappler Claw, Scorpion Ambush, Racing Slicks, Behemoth Mosquitoes, and Recover Control to wrap it up. The grand total in this order was $48 even, so thanks for that purchase. And next up, we had a massive order of trading cards. So I'm not going to flip through these because they were mostly all commons, but uh, it was 40 near mint to mint cards, which are a bunch of hazards, mods, shifts, just about uh, all the commons in the set. And and a lot of 22 lightly played, heavily played cards on top of that. So I'm assuming this buyer is using this to play the card game, which is pretty cool. But the grand total in this order was $75 even. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And that is 62 cards. And next up, we sold two Loose Mint Purple Spine Busters. Absolutely gorgeous. Love that chrome spoiler. Cannot say enough about it. With the purple paint, absolutely beautiful. But the grand total in this order was $33 even to a new buyer, I believe. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And the last order of the day is the Carded RDO 8. This was the last one that I had in stock. It has gone to a long time buyer who's getting real close to completing their carded set. The grand total on this order was $135 even. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. All right, guys. So yesterday we had a whole bunch of accelerators trading card sales, including some pretty rare cards. You guys are absolutely crushing all my foils and rares that I have in stock. So first things first, we had a lot of six near mint cards. cards. It was Foil Vector Cub Light, which we are now out of stock on. And Technetium, which we are now also out of stock on. Spectite, which I have one left, my last copy of RDO5, a copy of RDO9, and my only copy of Feather Frame that I had at the moment. So six rares here, two of them foils, and uh, most of these, once again, I'm out of stock on. So uh, grand total in this order was $166, even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And the next purchase was an absolute beast. So it was a total of 78 near mint to mint cards, including a bunch of rares. Let's flip through real quick. It was Flathead Fury 2, Battle Spec 2, Shortcut, Slalom, 
my last copy of Guts, Drifting, Hotwire, Escher's World, Forest Inferno, Maze Minotaur, Mechanoid Destroyer, Stone Colossus, always love the card art on that one, Electric Fry, Toxic Gators, Black Ice, Spire Slalom, Ice Shrapnel, Ice Yeti, Behemoth Mosquitoes, Tweak Box, Hardened Underbelly, my last copy of Suspension Enhancers, Vector Thrust, my last copy of Carpoon Hyperpod, my last copy of Gyro Stabilizer, Pulse Emitter, Camo Skin, Grappler Claw, my last copy of Dual Driller Hyperpod, so you guys are knocking me out of stock on all sorts of stuff. Then it was Rocket Socket Hyperpod, Spike Tires, Anti-Gravitation, my last copy of Impervious Tires, Sound Buffer, my last copy of Navigator, Hydro Glide, my last copy of Night Sight, there's all sorts of trends going on here. Then Lightning Rod, the Cosmic Realm, the Ruins Realm, my last copy of the Water Realm. Then we have the Wind Realm, the Junk Realm, RD10 version 2, RD08 version 2, RD07 version 2, RD06 version 2, RD05 version 2, RD04 version 2, then RD07, RD04, RD03, RD02, Vectra Octanium, Vectra Magnesium, this is going to be one heck of a clip, Vectra Nitrium, Metalloid, Iridium, Nitrium, Hyper Drift Tech, Hyper Baseline, my last copy of Hyper Spec Tight, then Drift Tech, Battle Spec, Torqued Pile Driver, Torqued Rolling Thunder, Torqued Riveted, Torqued Hollowback, Power Bomb, Riveted, Jaw Jammer, and Hollowback. Wow, that is a heck of an order, and that's not even all of it. So now let's go through the uh, the rares that he purchased as well. Let me grab them real quick. So it was my last copy of the Fog Realm that I had at the moment, then my last copy of the Micro Realm, my last copy of High Voltage, my last copy of RDO8, a copy of Armored Plow Foil, and my last copy of RDO2 version 2, guys. So this put me out of stock on like nine or 10 different cards all at once. But the grand total in this order was $372 even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. All right, guys. So we had a nice rush of sales last night. Let's go through them. So first things first, it was two carded cards, which were an RDO9 and an Iridium. Hope there's a Jump Jets or some sort of cool foil in here for you. And the same buyer also purchased 11 near mint to mint cards. And guys, I'm starting to run real low on a lot of these different cards. So it was Hyper Drift Tech, my last copy of the Cosmic Realm. The Cliffside Realm, Torqued Pile Driver, the Warped Realm, which I still have a bunch of. Then my last copy of the Neon Pipeline Realm. Then we got the Blizzard Realm, Torqued Riveted, the Labyrinth Realm, and Torqued Hollowback. That was my last copy of Torqued Hollowback as well. So the Grand to Oh, and I forgot this Hyper Power Age. Oop, I missed that one. So that was my last copy of Hyper Power Age as well. I got it in stock and then it was gone the next day within 24 hours. So for all these items here, the buyer purchased, the grand total was $132 even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold another lot of 17 near mint cement cards, and these were all vehicle cards. So it was a copy of Nitrium, Rollin' Thunder, Anthracite, Excellium, Spine Buster, Iridium, Power Bomb, which I'm down to, I think, one or two of. Then it was Ratified, Carbide, Riveted. Oop, that one's coming out of the sleeve. Then we had Jaw Jammer, Baseline, Battle Spec, Metalloid, Magnesium, Hollowback, and Jackhammer to wrap it up. So the grand total in this order was $45, even to another new buyer. Lots of new buyers buying a lot of trading cards right now. But uh, like I said, the grand total was $45 even. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you and then the last accelerator's order of the day was three international cards. It was one of those Iridium sets with Iridium, Vector Iridium, and Batswarm, which is such a cool card in international form. But the grand total in this order was $10 even, and I think I'm down to my last 40 of these international card sets. <laughs> and next up, we sold five near Man cards, which were the Ruins Realm, the Wind Realm, the Chrome Realm, bunch of great realms there, then 2D, and a copy of Baseline. The grand total in this order was $38, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. All right, guys, next up, we had a lot of 18 near mint cement cards. I'm actually starting to run a little bit low on cards, and I'm not going to lie. So it was Slam Ram Hyperpod, RDO4, the Monument Realm, RDO6, the Junk Realm, RDO3, RDO1, Turn and Burn, the Ice Realm, RDO7, the Swamp Realm, my last copy of Kamikaze Semis. Then we had Spy Eye, RD10 version 2, which I still have like 100 copies of. Then we had Engine Elixir, Hyper Jump, Spike Tires, and Wall Crawl to wrap it up. The grand total in this order was $45, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. 
And then we sold a lot of two more loose mint cars, which were a CM6 RDO6 and a CM6 Iridium. Little drone silencer action here, but the grant total in this order was $30 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And next up, you guessed it, two more lots of 22 lightly played, heavily played cards gone, running real dangerously low on these. I don't have any more shift cards or any more realm cards that are in played condition. So it's a lot of mods, hazards, and vehicles, basically. But the grand total in this order was $64 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And then we sold three more loose mint cars, which were a CM6 Drift Tech, a CM5 Black Hood Riveted, and another CM6 Drift Tech, which I'm running real low on those Drift Techs at this point. Um, probably only got four or five of them left, so get them while you can if you need them. But the grand total in this order was $50, even to a new buyer, so thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold another lot of 14 Nermit Cement cards. Cars are just selling so fast right now. We have RDO8 version 2, the Solar Realm, then a bunch of Accelo Chargers. It was Sound Buffer, Total Traction, Frictionless, 2D, Turn and Burn, Sand Speed, Slip Grip, then we had the Monument Realm, my last copy of Vector Technetium that we just pulled, then we had Anti-Gravitation, my second to last copy of Lightning Rod, and the Blizzard Realm to wrap it up. The grand total in this order was $55 even to a return buyer, so thanks for that purchase. And next up, another day, another two lots of 22 lightly played and heavily played cards. I'm now out of Shift cards and Realm cards, um, and I'm running pretty low on Hazards and Mods as well, and Excel Chargers, so probably only like four or five more of these lots to be listed before I am completely out, and then it's just the Mint cards. But uh, anyways, grand total in this order was $72, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. So the sales from over the weekend, first things first, we had a lot of 17 Nermit to cards. Let's flip them real quick. These cards are just selling so fast right now. Meteor Shower, Slam Ram Hyperpod, Hyper Beams, Wheel Shield, Spy Eye, Teleport, 2D, RD10, Anthracite, Power Age, which I only have a couple copies of left. Then we had Avalanche, Gear Crush, Draft and Pass, Simulator Run, Under the Hood, emergency break and slay them to wrap it up the grand total in this order was 44 dollars when you include shipping these were going international so thanks for that purchase hopefully you enjoy and next up we sold a lot of four loose plate condition cards which were oops, running away this cm5 ratified this cm5 power bomb cm6 rdo6 and a cm5 black hood riveted sometimes i forget just how good riveted looks even in comparison to the other sellers for cars it is just a sweet model the grand total in this order was 31 dollars even to a new buyer so thanks for that and then you guys guessed it. Yep, two more lots of 22 lightly played, heavily played cards. One featured a baseline, one featured a torque to ratify. The grand total in this order was $70 even for the two lots. And I officially have my last two lots of played condition cards up on my eBay page. I think one has 19 cards and the other one has like 34 cards or something similar to that. So that is it for the played condition cards. After that, it is all near mint cards. But thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And that is going to wrap it up for this sales video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing all the items moving in and out of my eBay accelerators to store. Starting to run real low on the trading cards. I still have a good bit of loose mint cars in stock that I keep getting in here and there, but uh, trading cards are running a little bit low and I don't know if I'm going to be getting more in stock. So be sure to grab them while you can, if you are watching them, because once my listing is gone, um, I think Bay Buyer has a bunch of cards left, maybe, you know, a thousand or 1500, uh, probably close to about the same amount as I do just looking through his uh, listing. But uh, once those listings are gone, guys, I don't know where people are going to get sellers of trading cards from. Uh, there's definitely not going to be a ton out there. But uh, anyways, if you enjoyed this video, guys, be sure to smash the like button for me. Subscribe to the Accelerators Hub for more Accelerators-related content. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.